I got started in film um, um, through anger, really. <clears throat> I, you know, I was so pissed off at being rejected by the National Film School um, and being told that I really wasn't a suitable candidate to, as a filmmaker because I'd come from experimental theatre. That I think that sort of fueled the anger, fueled my determination to make a film, really just to kind of as a as a kind of a. I wanted to make films anyway, but I, you know, I was just so kind of pissed off. I really wanted to go to film school, <laughs> you know. I wanted to take three years out. I'd been on the road for 10 years, you know, performing. Um, and I was so looking forward to the idea of, you know, like a three-year period when I just learned something. And then I just went, oh, I see, I'm not going to get that period. I'm just going to have to go and find out how to make films and get on with it. But actually, of course, that was the best thing that happened, you know, because there is nothing like the practical experience of actually making a film to, to teach you the truth about filmmaking. Um, so what I did was I, I, uh, I got a £5,000 grant from a Dutch theatre company. I think I got a £1,000 grant from the Arts Council to do a performance art piece. And I, I used a lot of that money to make a 40-minute film on 16 millimeter, so, um, which I sort of wrote, uh, directed, starred in, edited, um, composed the music for it, everything. I mean, it's a real kind of amateur hour, you know, my first film. I think there's a period in your life when, when you first start to become aware of film as something that's not just entertainment and something that's on the telly. Um, and it usually coincides with a sort of rite of passage when you're a teenager, of when you first start kind of being interested in women and music and, and, you, and, and sort of the idea of being a sort of an adult appeals to you. And, then, and part of that is a certain kind of film that you, that you maybe, that speaks to you in a certain way and you would like to have a dialogue with as well. Um, and I went out with a girl in Newcastle who was a part-time usherette at the Tyneside Film Theatre, which was the art house cinema in, in Newcastle. And there I saw a film called, it's called Herostratus by Don Levy, which I have never seen since, but I still remember the film. Um, I guess I saw my first Jean-Luc Godard film there. And then the next year when I went to college, I saw Roundup, Weekend, Repulsion, Bonnie and Clyde, Performance, um, and a couple more, but I would say those films sort of in a way really just nailed a kind of certain sensibility about, about, about language, communication language. And funnily enough, I then went into theatre, into performance art, but so heavily influenced by film, not by theatre. And then I kind of, you know, had this 10-year period and then I started making films. And it's almost like I'd used the 10 years to sort of um, learn some kind of theatre craft, if you like, a perf you know, performance, really. So those, those were the films that did it for me. I think the best advice to anyone starting out now is we know that, uh, you know, it's so much easier now to make a film, you know, technically, that, you know, you... Uh, the, the, the things that were really difficult for my generation and um, up until fairly recently were the cost of shooting on film and things like that and the ability to go to a laboratory and blah 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 so that's not a problem anymore because we all know that all you need is a laptop and a you know a, a video camera and and probably the book my book <laughs> called digital filmmaking but you know or, or something similar that just sort of says here are some rules you know that this this would help you if you if you don't do this and maybe do this and so on all that's fine now. So anybody, it's a, the, the democratization of filmmaking is fantastic. The big problem is distribution. So my advice to anybody setting out making a film right now is think about how you might want to screen the film so that you don't end up in this sort of tragic situation of hanging on to your masterpiece. And um, I mean, I get stopped in the street quite a lot now, and I'm sure other film directors do as well by... People say, can I just give you my DVD, you know, that I've made this film and I paid for it myself. And this happened to me two weeks ago in, in uh, Notting Hill. And, and I did actually watch the film, you know. Um, but, I, you know, the, it sort of epitomizes the problem, which is, you know, like all these uh, 
filmmakers, you know, with something to say, but n nowhere to show it, you know. And then there's short film festivals and there's, you know, and everybody knows that the internet is really um, potentially, they know it's useful, but we don't really know quite how, other than sort of to advertise the film or YouTube it or something like that. So um, I, I would suggest that, you know, you, you know, people need to form groups of, and it needs to be the director, the producer, and the producer sort of has someone next who's sort of like the distributor who says, oh, we're just going to get this space and we're going to um, turn that into a cinema for three weeks and we're going to premiere the film. But what I'd like to see is a little bit more creative, imaginative use of the possibility of distribution now. You know, like create your own distribution, you know, and then use the internet in a very clever way to get people there and show clips and do a trailer and all the rest of it. But the gr the gridlock of distribution needs to be broken. You also need to be aware of the fact that you're now competing not just with, you know, Nick Rogue and me and everybody else, but also like five million of your mates who are also now all making... I mean, I remember ten years ago at a conference uh, with Steven Soderbergh and someone said, you know, what's the future of digital technology? <clears throat> and... I was being really positive. Stephen Soderbergh just up and said, there's going to be 20 times more bad films on the market than there are now. And I thought, wow, it's very cynical. But I sort of like, I see his point, you know. I mean, I said, well, there's also 20 times, that means by definition, more good films as well. But then the same problem. How do you get it out there?